Guys, it's great down here down the shore. I'm Robert Johnson in Ocean City. Come on down. We've got some great stuff. We just finished up with the baby parade, and we've got these cute kids right here. Guys, you were selling lemonade earlier. How was it? it was and if you are down the shore, enjoy it because these days are getting shorter. Tonight's sunset, 816. By the middle of August, 758. And then as we're all back to school and regular work schedules, 732. We updated our snowfall total map. Expect anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of snow. When you're in the 50s, it's pretty comfortable. 60s, a little bit more humid. But once you get into the 70s, it is quite oppressive and sticky outside. It just feels quite tropical. It has been downgraded from a Category 5 storm to a Category 4 hurricane, but it is still strong and potent. A quick shower or storm pushes through overnight tomorrow night into early Tuesday morning, but most of Tuesday will be dry. Of course, you see we're giving it an 8. We actually had confirmation of a tornado south of Erie. It hit a nursing home, so some bad damage there. A few showers late into the night. However, most of the area will be pretty dry. Make sure you have that umbrella with you if you're heading out. I like this guy. Thank you so much, Tommy, for joining us. Here's more 46 Live. And we've got some storms in the forecast, too. That's all coming up in the exclusive AccuWeather 7-day forecast. Until then, Rick and Monica will send it back inside to you. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Nicole Hull, meteorologist Robert Johnson, Taylor Rambo, and Kendall Coughlin. So Rob, it's been hot and humid this week, but how's this weekend looking ahead? This weekend, less than perfect. Still got some showers and storms coming through the area, so not the best short weekend. Let's take you right to the Weather Center to tell you a little bit more about it. There's our Brandywine cam, some pops of sun in between the clouds outside. Not a bad day today, not so humid, and tomorrow doesn't look that bad either. Here's your weekend preview. This weekend, just like I mentioned, less than perfect. Saturday and Sunday, watching out for some showers and storms, but at least it's not as humid out there anywhere pretty much across the region with temperatures in the lower 80s. When you factor in the dew points, here is where we talk about the tropical moisture in the air. When you're in the 70s, it feels tropical and oppressive, but then when you're in the 60s, it still feels humid, but not so bad. So 64 degrees for your dew point in Philadelphia, 70s down the shore in part because of a land breeze that we have right now. When you factor in the heat and the humidity, here's how it feels outside. It feels like 88 in Philadelphia, 91 in Trenton, 95 at the AC airport, and there's that land breeze. So that's why there's not so much relief down the shore right now compared to what we've had in previous days. Satellite 6 along with Action Radar showing us this, a cold front that has pushed offshore that provided some rain last night and early this morning is now away from us. And now we're left with partly cloudy and sunny skies all throughout the region. So that'll be great tonight. So if you're heading out to the Eagles and Steelers game tonight, 7 o'clock, it's looking pretty nice out there. Mainly clear, 86 degrees for the first quarter, 80 degrees by the fourth quarter. So make sure you get out there and enjoy it. And maybe a light jacket if you do get cold pretty easily and if the game goes a little long too. So as we're starting off our day tomorrow morning, 74 in the city, upper 60s in the suburbs, and then 74, 75 down the shore, still keeping that land breeze. And then that changes as we get into tomorrow afternoon with another cold front that comes through. So 90 degrees in Philadelphia for tomorrow at around 3 o'clock in the 80s down the shore and then upper 80s in the Lehigh Valley. So as we plan out your day for the weekend, we start off with a good deal of clouds with some showers and storms to the north. And then here we go again. We've got a whole bunch of showers and storms. The darker colors, when well, you see the orange and the red, those could be indications of some pop-up storms. So you still want to get those activities out of the way early in the morning because those showers and storms come through in the afternoon and into the evening hours. So whether you're in the city, down the shore, or in the Poconos, get out early and do what you need to do because those storms push in pretty quickly. So 83 down the shore, cloudy with some showers and storms. In the city, cooler and very unsettled. And then the Poconos, a good deal of clouds, but we still can roll the possibility of a shower or a thunderstorm. In your five day at five, we end our heat wave come tomorrow, 90 degrees. And then on Saturday, showers and thunderstorms, pretty much the same, but a little bit more humid on Sunday. So 80 and 82 this weekend. Then on Monday, showers and some storms at 82 degrees. And then by Tuesday, we still can get rid of the storms and the heat and the humidity. But at least enjoy tomorrow because that will be a little bit of a break for us. I'll have more coming up in the exclusive AccuWeather 7-day forecast to see how the rest of next week pans out. Until then, Kendall, back to you.
o'clock. And now it's currently a category five hurricane with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour. As it passes the Lesser Antilles into the Greater Antilles passing San Juan, it remains as a category four hurricane. So still a major hurricane, which is category three or above. And it still has some strong winds. And after we just had Irma not too long ago, this is really going to be a catastrophic storm for some of those smaller islands. Our prayers are definitely with them. And then even as the storm continues, it's not going to make landfall anywhere in the United States as of right now, but still is going to be a category three major hurricane for quite a while because of those warm ocean waters and not only with those warm ocean waters, but also because of the depth of those warm ocean waters as well. That's a different story compared to Jose right now. As you look at the satellite picture, you don't see a clear defined eye. When you see a clear defined eye in a hurricane like you see with Maria, that shows you that you're going to have a very strong system. It's very potent. Not the case with Jose. Category one storm right now, not making landfall in the United States. And uh, hi there, Rick and Monica. We're at the Philadelphia Zoo and I'm with the Arapawa goats. Oh, it's a feisty one today. And there's only about 500 of them left in the world. 17 of them right here at the Philadelphia Zoo. And they can grow to about 60 to 80 pounds some of them can jump over five feet others over seven feet and they are amazing these cute things right here I'm gonna have more fun pets and animals right here at the Philadelphia Zoo along with the exclusive like with a seven-day forecast when we come right back stay with us hey buddy